Hey guys, it's Frank and Kevin from Cruising with Wheels. Hi. Today we're going to talk about the top cruise passenger complaints. So like Frank said, we're talking about the top cruise passenger complaints today. And this is a rather long video. So what <laughs> we've decided to do is to do it in two parts. I, so I mean, long because there are so many complaints, which I find so hard to believe. You're such whiners. I know. Why would they complain about anything regarding a cruise? Because, <clears throat> you know, so many people, is it the people who were on the cruise who were complaining? Or, and people listening are going... Wow, that sounds awful. Or are they going, God, what a bunch of whiners they are. They should be thankful they're on a cruise. I don't know. All as I know is my biggest complaint is that, did you know that like 75% uh, of the people that watch our videos aren't already subscribed? So <laughs> if you are not subscribed, you need to click that subscribe button and a little bell next to it so you can receive notifications. 75% of our viewers are not Family? I know. It's crazy. It's we love crazy. you for watching, but please be part of our family. Click the subscribe. So that's my complaint. Good for you. I know. <laughs> so let's start off with the first complaint, which is the ship size. Yeah, really. Oh, my God. The ship was just too small. I was bored. There wasn't oh. anything to do. I just, you know, uh, I don't know. What is there to do? Or maybe the ship was too big. Yeah, oh, that one. Uh, I was so confused. I didn't know where to go. I didn't know where I was. Uh, uh, was. Was I in a ship? Was I in a city? Was I on the moon? <laughs> Get over You're it. You're on a cruise ship. What do you have to complain Small, about? Small, medium, large. You should be happy. And, you know, if you had done your due diligence <laughs> and kind of researched the deck plans, you wouldn't have been confused or bored. The next one on the list is your favorite. The complaints about the <laughs> cruise fare. Oh, I made my final payment. And then the cruise fare dropped when I went to check the 800th time. <laughs> I say if you were happy with the price when you booked the cruise, which I know you were, uh, or else you wouldn't have booked it. <laughs> Seriously. Then what is the big problem, right? But after final payment... If the price drops, I don't know what they think they're going to get. But we always say what? Mm, call yeah. anyways. You never know. It doesn't hurt to ask. It's not costing you anything to call because even if you don't get reimbursed, some people have gotten some credits. <clears throat> you don't know. The next on our list really, really pisses me off. It's a big complaint of mine. Oh, Jesus. Uh, and it's not <laughs> with... with the uh, the complaint itself, it's with how people handle this, oh, right? Oh, yeah. And next on our list is gratuities. Mm, the hot topic. It is a hot yeah, topic. Yeah, because you've got that, you got that, you basically have two factions. Mm -hmm. You've got the, oh my God, these people are angels. They deserve every bit of a gratuity and more. Uh, for all the hard work, because they work long hours. And, That's, of you know. course, the side we're on. Yeah, yes. And, but then you got the other ones who are what? Who are like, I paid enough money, I don't oh, want yeah. a tip. Uh, or, uh, uh, my french fries were burned in the buffet, so I'm going to remove all my tips from my right, that's right. cruise. I'm gonna, ridiculous. I'm going to screw my cabin steward, uh, the, 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 uh, everybody who, the bartenders and the servers and the restaurant people, the dishwashers. Are you swimming? Front of the house. I am. Back and forth, back and forth. And they have all the excuses about why they're going to just delete their gratuities because of one incident and it's really really crazy and they say don't tell me who to tip i'll tip the people i think deserve it well what if they all deserve it but you know you're are you going to interact with what 800 crew members that are making thousands your, thousands yeah 800 plus thousands whatever that are making your cruise uh an exciting one i i just don't get it the next on the list is extra fee venues now that would be like oh, yeah. uh Specialty restaurants, 
dinner shows, go karts, uh, virtual reality, and some of right. those ships. Laser now. tags, the flow rider. Sometimes on the bigger ships, theater shows. And I say, why are you complaining about it? Well, they're, they're, they're thinking, well, it, why should I, again, I paid my crew's fare. Why should I pay all these extras? So don't well, do it. Well, I'm going to say, A, A, <laughs> thank you. Either don't do it. Or, or, or B, I want to tell you that, because uh, people say, well, it should all be included. Well, I'm going to tell you, if this was all free and included, your cruise fare would be much higher. You right. are going to pay for it somewhere along the line. The price is going to be included. So let's look at it a different way for those uh, extra fee venues. You should be thanking the cruise line for uh, charging extra for those things, because if they didn't, everybody's cruise fare would go up. Instead of, if I want to do the go-karts, I just pay for the go-karts. I can't do the go-karts. I can't do the flow rider. I can't do the laser tag. I, I'd be like, what? And I'm paying a higher cruise fare for all of you people? Well, that's not fair either. Next on our list is embarkation. Oh, yeah, really? Well, okay. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna give that a little credence. Yes, and for, I have some for, complaints for, about that too. For long lines and, and crazy crowds and you know elevator congestion, we'll give you a little bit of it. But again, embarkation. It's like you're going on a cruise. You people. are going on a cruise. This too will pass. Yes. <laughs> Don't yes, worry. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Next on the list is alcohol. Oh, yeah. We hear so many complaints about alcohol. Yeah, it's not even funny. Um, I, you know, that was one of the complaints of those guys that were here last night to fix oh, really? some uh, issues that we were having with the Internet, which was um, why are there limitations on what they can drink? Right. If and I bought the drink package, I should be have be able to have 10 drinks on the table in front of me, just sucking them down two-handed. Mm-hmm. Oh. Some people say the alcohol's too expensive. All right. Some people say... Uh, this cruise line's drink package is way too much money. This one is okay. How come my liquor that I drink top shelf at home isn't... Uh, 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 why can't right. I get that free? Right. Why do I have to pay gratuities on it? Right. I already paid gratuities, and it's like... I said, well, well your, your ship gratuity... Uh, doesn't cover the gratuity, mm -hmm. liquor, bartender, whole thing. Why can't I bring it on board? Right. I want to bring a whole case of wine on board. Well, you know, some cruises allow you to bring a, a bottle or two. But, you know, can you imagine free-for-all? Cases would be rolling up. Mm-hmm. Give, give an inch, take a yard. Next on our list is canceled or changed uh, itineraries. That, that's a biggie. And, so it, it can, and I get it. I'm going to give this a little yeah, credence, yeah. too. But I have to say again, anybody within the sound of my voice right now, if you booked a cruise, you ch checked a little box that said that you read and understand the cruise contract. <laughs> yeah. And that's in your cruise contract that the cruise line has the right to reserve, uh, the right to change your right. itinerary or cancel an itinerary right. and put you on a different one based right. on any factor. Right. What? Well, because... Right? Hurricanes, uh, the ship may have to divert from the port you were headed. Uh, political unrest, mm -hmm. where you cannot dock because there's some political situation going on and protesting. Problem what, with the ship. What? Right, uh, mechanical issues. What they're doing is they're doing it for your safety and your benefit. And I know you're disappointed because you had your heart set on this port, where I'm sure you probably had an excursion planned, but you're going to get refunded on that excursion. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, yeah, so. I have to say that, not that I want it to happen, itinerary changing, but I almost uh, will welcome it because that just means we're going to book another cruise because we want to go to that port, right? right? So, I mean, I don't, I don't know how to say it more plainly other than basically, shit happens. <laughs> okay, the cruise line doesn't control the weather. I'm sorry you got to Roatan and it rained all day. It's not their fault. Uh, <laughs> you just need to, to, you know, put the blame where it goes. Yeah, really. <laughs> Hand to God. <laughs>
<laughs> Next on our list is cabins. We hear right. multiple complaints about cabins right. and see multiple complaints about cabins. Right. They're either too small right. or their neighbors were noisy. Oh, right. And I, I don't know where I put my clothes and I need more closet space and more drawers. And yeah, there are some cabins there where there isn't enough space, but you're not at home. Right. This isn't, this isn't a house you're buying and where you're going to live there for the next 10, 20 years. It is a one-week vacation, mm -hmm. and I'm sorry that it doesn't have enough closet space or maybe hangers. Get your cabin steward. They'll bring you yeah. extra hangers. Yeah. Uh, uh, but, but when you book and you're not sure of the cabin size, you're able to get that information online. Oh, yeah. The size of a cabin, 125. Google. Yeah, Google is your friend. 125, 130 square foot inside cabin. Do your measurements with length. What equals 100? You get a feel for how big your cabin is. Yeah, basically, any inside cabin is going to be the size of your smallest bedroom. And with all like the in an eight by ten. Yeah, and with all the great eight by eight YouTube channels that are out there that give you all these wonderful cabin tours, you should be able to know what you're getting into. Before ne you book. <laughs> Next is dining. Dining is always a huge complaint. The food. But, uh, you know, the people complain about the quality or the quantity. Uh, it's too hot. It's too cold. I had to wait. They they came too fast. They didn't come fast enough. I know. Oh, I you mean, can't please like, everybody. How can you make everybody happy? You can't. You can't. You can't. And so, uh, if you don't like the it's food, it's even a crapshoot for us. Yeah, if you don't like the food, send it back. Yeah. Okay, you're, you're never going to go without food. Don't say it wasn't enough. You have the ability to order more. <laughs> the buffet, endless. What was that movie? Mi you can always get more toast. Oh, yeah, right. The birdcage. You can always get more toast. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, if it's, again, not to your liking, just tell them it's not to your liking. Another complaint is loyalty perks. Oh, mm -hmm. I know. I love it. When you, you see, you know, your, your bronze, your gold, your platinum, your diamond, your this, your ruby, your that, I don't know what you are, uh, and you got the list. And some, peop some people complain that... Um, uh, while well, the other cruise line I was on, yeah. I get to be my status before, you know, when I'm on the right. ship. Uh, and the, this one doesn't do it that I way. I got to wait till I get home and the cruise is over before I go to the next level. And I don't think that's fair. Well, you know. Guess what? A lot of things aren't fair in life. <laughs> and they didn't have to give you I those know. loyalty perks. I know. Now, we always take a copy, whatever cruise line we're on, of the loyalty perk listing of whatever our status is with that particular line. We yeah, we make sure we get what we're owed. But you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bitch and complain. Wow, well, bottle of champagne, that's it. Well that's more than you had when you boarded. <laughs> I mean see, come on. Chocolate covered strawberries, big deal. Again, thank you. They were delicious. Why are you complaining? They were free. The next thing is Rude and nasty passengers, which yeah. we can poke fun at. We, we because, can. Because <laughs> uh, we have Tales from the High Seas. You are all, you rude and nasty people, you are all part of my Tales from the High Seas. So we kind, of, we kind of say thank you yeah, because it gives us content for our channel. And I will link <laughs> the Tales from the Seas playlist yeah. above but in I don't, case you haven't seen any. We just could never figure out why people are that way when they're on vacation on a cruise. Why are people rude and nasty? I, I just don't get it. I don't know. How, I mean, it's funny because when you board, everybody seems to be, oh, my God, like a kid in a candy store. Where does the change happen from kid in a candy store to you SOB, I hope you die, uh, you know, or whatever? It, it happens by day three. Is that uh, what yep. the changeover? I'll tell you, day three <laughs> is when I notice it. Day three is when I notice it, and I think, I think it. Uh, everybody, when they get on that ship, they're, they're in awe. They are. They're okay? like, okay. And I what feel do I say? like I, and I'm I feel like they um, by day three, by the middle of day three, they now feel more comfortable. It's their home away so, from so home. So they go back to what they really are. I think maybe which are, which is maybe rude and nasty and I entitled. Don't know. And they're jaded and now, of course, I burned. would never be rude or nasty. <laughs> And finally, for today's video, anyways, is dress code. Oh, yes. 
And because a lot of the cruise lines have relaxed their dress code from traditional garb, there's a lot of confusion as to what you mean when, when the cruise lines are telling you that it's um, smart casual or um, what shoes you can wear and can't wear or sandals or no sandals and open toed. I mean, Kevin walks into the restaurant, he has dress sandals. And when they go, well, you can't wear those, he's going to go, let's check out all the sandals I see every woman on her feet has, but you're telling me that I, because I'm a man, I can't wear sandals? BS on that. Move aside and seat us for dinner. <laughs> but I can say that this is a complaint of mine because I feel as if uh, the cruise lines don't do a good job of being consistent. Right. Because it's not just different from line to line. We found that it's different within the same lines, depending right. on the ship. Depending on the ship. And then specialty restaurants, because they'll say, well, all specialty restaurants, you're paying money, you have to have proper attire. But we've been in specialty restaurants where people are rolling in with tank tops and shorts and sandals. Mm -hmm. And then we have another rest specialty restaurant on board where that woman was so nicely dressed and the, and the hostess came out and, and did kind of one of those Club 54 things, looking her up and down and went, Boy, do you show your age when you say that. I know. Sorry, you can't enter. You're not dressed appropriately. And the girl ran off crying. This isn't and Studio was, 54. And that was when we weren't really dress, dressy no. dressy at all. And we, I was like, oh, honey, even dare to say to me, I can't come and have my dinner right. tonight. I will roll you over with my wheelchair. <laughs> you just but made that girl cry remember, for no reason. Remember we were on, um, I think it was the gem. I'm not 100% sure on that. But it was on one of the smaller NCL ships. And we were uh, horrified when the woman came into Cagney's with a bikini top and a oh, sarong yeah. and ate dinner. Yeah. And nobody blinked an eye yeah. said anything. The guy, or the guy that had the wife beater tank top loaded with tattoos and like beach shorts or whatever and flip flops. We're in a specialty dining venue and this is allowed. I, I just, we're like, I guess on this ship it is. So yeah. Ship to ship within a specific line, very confusing, and we we feel your pain, and we do understand, because uh, you're trying to you're trying to conform, right, and and follow the rules and be good be good cruisers. Now, uh, I want to tell everybody and thank them all for being with us today. And yeah, thank uh, you for joining us on part one of. Well, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. This is part one, Cruise and we're going to have a part two. Passenger complaints. Where we're going to have twelve more complaints. Yeah, and that'll be next week. So join us for that. And until then, uh, comment below. Comment below. Tell us if you. Uh, yes recognize any of these complaints maybe you have these complaints that's right, right. or a new one we haven't mentioned yet i know <laughs> but until next time we want to remind everybody to always travel safe and cruise often mm -hmm.